What's up guys, JC here. Welcome to Phantom Finance where, hey, some days we talk things in the financial sphere, but today we're talking about what we think might happen after Spider-Man No Way Home comes out on December 17th. I know I'll be the first person in the online sphere getting my tickets on November 29th. But anyway, let's get into the video and let's discuss this article that I'm going to pull up right here. Spider-Man No Way Home lays the foundation for Peter Parker's MCU exit. So really in this video we're going to be talking we're going to run down through this article and we'll kind of discuss the theories about what I think is probably in store for Tom Holland Spider-Man after No Way Home. So let's get into it. Uh, one of the most interesting things about Marvel's Cinematic Universe's Spider-Man movies has been how the title links to the narrative. Homecoming was apt as the wall crawler Grace New York with the presence after the Avengers outing in Captain America Civil War. While Far From Home saw Tom Holland's Peter Parker in Europe trying to best Mysterio. Interestingly, now that the official trailer for No Way Home's out, it does seem like the film is laying the foundation for Peter's MCU exit. The idea of home has resonated big time, as it's not just a place in the Big Apple, it's Peter's family, friends, and colleagues. From Aunt May to MJ and Ned to Happy Hogan to Earth's Mightiest Heroes, this universe is the home Peter will give his life for, as seen in Infinity War. And as the trailer hints, that may be the case again in the third film from John Watts. Uh, many assume No Way Home speaks to villains like Green Goblin, Electro, Sandman, and the Lizard getting marooned after being in Sony's Spider-Verse. But there's a strong chance the film could end with Peter as the person lost somewhere in another reality with No Way Home. After all, in the trailer, he talks about how he's not able to save everyone, so this hints that Peter might make the ultimate sacrifice, especially as he wants to get the villains home without killing them. It may be mystical, as he's using Doctor Strange's magic to seal rips in space and time, or it could be scientific, with Peter and Otto Octavius perhaps plugging the bridge to the multiverse. Either way, this could lose... Spidey in another realm with no chance of ever getting back. It would honor Iron Man's MC, uh, it would honor Iron Man's legacy as Tony Stark made a similar sacrifice. Plus, it add intrigue to the MCU, leaving uh, his loved ones and other Avengers struggling to cope. Holland himself has said he doesn't want to be in his 30s playing Spider-Man, so this is an organic way of allowing other arachnid-based heroes to thrive. Uh, Spider-Gwen, the Ben Riley clones, and even the webheads from Sam Raimi and Mark Webb's films could take the position up if they uh, get stuck in the MCU, but the likeliest option is Miles Morales rising to the challenge. Miles could be inspired by a departed Peter taking up arms as uh, New York's wall crawler, which would fit the next generation of heroes such as Kamala Khan, Miss Marvel, perhaps even opening a door for the champions. Uh, more so, this kills Peter without really killing him, which would allow Sony to use him in films outside the MCU's continuity. Uh, Drumroll with Venom, Eddie Brock, Morbius, Black Cat as possible partners or opponents. Ultimately, this would be the most difficult test for Peter, trying to find a family away from home while still ensuring there's a chance he could get back someday as a better superhero and young man. So that article was, of course, by CBR.com, uh, which is actually really good timing because uh, this is a theory I've had ever since I saw Far From Home back in 2019 when Mysterio came along. And, of course, in that intro scene between uh, Peter and Mysterio, in that scene, 
Uh, they talk about how Mysterio is from another universe, another Earth, where the elementals came from, and they somehow, we don't know how, um, of course it was all fake, but uh, made up a story of how they somehow arrived on Earth. And I thought for sure, just because of all the contract issues between Sony and Disney at the time, I really thought that that was Tom Holland's last outing as um, Spider-Man in the MCU. Uh, and of course, that turned out to not be the case. Uh, Sony and Disney made up and we are getting No Way Home, which I know for a lot of fans for the lead up uh, within a month's time, uh, it's getting to be a fever pitch. I mean, I don't, I don't think I have seen quite this much excitement around an MCU film since Avengers Endgame. Nonetheless, what is going to happen to Peter? As the title suggests, No Way Home, uh, he's probably going to end up in some other reality. It's probably going to be in the Venomverse, which would be very interesting to see uh, a Peter Parker who has... Uh, one, he has no support of the people he knows, his friends, his family, right? They, the people that know him for who he is, like that version of Peter Parker, is not there. Uh, it would be really interesting to see if MJ actually bites the dust in No Way Home, as you see in the trailer where she's falling, very reminiscent of The Amazing Spider-Man 2, where Gwen Stacy, Emma Stone's character, is falling down in the clock tower and uh right um andrew garfield spider-man js can't quite reach her in time and she ends up dying of course spoiler alert but of course that movie's been around for seven years get caught up on your spider-man movies if you haven't done so yet um so that we're probably going to get maybe a scene something similar like that but uh having a tom holland deal with a having a Tom Holland Spider-Man deal with loss, grief, it'd be really interesting to see him flip into maybe a grief-stricken sort of villainous role in, in say, the Venomverse, and where Venom is actually kind of more, of course, more the anti-hero. He's not a full-on hero, but more the anti-hero of sorts, and kind of pit him against Spider-Man, but it's in opposite roles. That would certainly give emotional stock to continuing to follow the story of Tom Holland's Spider-Man. I know there's been rumors out there that he is going to potentially star in three new films and, and three Disney Plus seasons. I think that's a lot of Spider-Man for such a young guy. I'm sure he wants to venture out, do some other space. As this article said, he uh, doesn't want to be playing Spider-Man into his 30s, but these rock star moments as an actor only come around once in a lifetime, especially for an MCU uh, film. So who knows what's going to come of this, but um, right, we, we as fans have emotional stock in this. Q3 earnings just came out for a lot of companies out on the stock market. And when do you, what would you like to hear from an earnings call? You want to hear about future plans. You want to know that, that the company has, um, has plans to continually invest in itself. And that's ultimately what we as fans want. We want to make sure that um, Sony and Disney continue to invest in the fandom and that we get more of Tom Holland. He, uh, where did I see it on Twitter? Uh, he, Andrew Garfield was responding to uh, people on the internet on different social media platforms. And someone had said that uh, Tobey Maguire is the best Peter Parker Andrew Garfield is the best Spider-Man, but Tom Holland is probably the best at being decent at both. And I think that, you know what, that's probably a really fair assumption. I still want to see where uh, Tom Holland's character goes next. I'm not really, I mean, me personally, I'm not ready for a Miles Morales or another version of Spider-Man. I, I kind of want to see uh, a continued progression of Spider-Man. And yes, into his 30s. Yeah, into his 40s. I want to see like an older Spider-Man with Tom Holland. I'm, I'm certainly on board for that. And hopefully we get more of that coming forward. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, then please do the cliche thing and super smash all of the buttons of the like and subscribe variety or first choke it if you so desire. Check out uh, the Phantom Finance shop where you can get lovely apparel like this. And I will see you all in the next video.